Good, good morning, yeah. good afternoon, good evening to all of you. Hi. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you once again. So once again, thank you very much for the great opportunity, the great chance. So this is a story. It's called a terrifying experience. Actually, let me ask you first. Are you into terrifying experiences? Do you like terrifying experiences? Have you ever experienced any of them? Yeah, I did. It's a very little story not so long so I, w- I was in standard eight and one and um, it, it, I'm uh, very sorry to say that uh, my um, uh, grandmother died then so oh. my cousins were uh, beside me we were talking and discussing because we were full of melancholy so uh, beside the window we could see a shadow so I was really very surprised to uh, think about that not only me but my cousins also uh, found the same thing a shadow which uh, like came to in front of the window and just moved out in a minute in, in a second so that was a terrifying experience it's short but I can still remember it mm-hmm. it was really you know so this is a story about Kate and she's had this experience while she was waiting for her friend Peter to come over. Okay. So let's just say a few things about Kate just to see what she's like in order to then read properly what we have to do. Okay. So she's a student at Harvard University. She's studying to be a doctor. Okay. She has no time to uh, do anything extra. She only studies and then she sleeps okay but if you have some time later just look through the saying all work and no play okay which really um is what she did okay she was working and not having some rest okay she does have quite a few friends but she prefers to laze around stay home and relax when she has the time to okay which is like really rarely and another thing is that she's seldom afraid. She's very courageous, as she claims. She tries to be rational, to use your brains a lot. But there are times where she may panic. Is this one of these times? Let's just see, okay? So we're going to be reading Kate's experience. We're all going to be Kate. The readers are going to be Kate. And what I'd like you to do, I'd like all of us to do, <clears throat> is try to express through our voices and through our like facial expressions the feeling let's take out the feelings that she might have okay it is a terrifying experience so there must be some agony some excitement maybe we'll just say how as we read okay last night as i was about to go to bed i realized that my nightgown was missing I started looking down, but being pretty confused at the same time, since I never misplaced these things. I looked under my pillow again and again. Short with hunger that I had actually let happen. This was so not like me to do. All of a sudden, I heard this weird, shrill voice coming from the flat next to mine. The flat had been vacated for two weeks now, and before yesterday night, I had not really noticed anybody living there. I rushed to the close my windows because someone could easily get into my flat from the one next door. I had almost forgotten what I was looking for when I noticed something yellow-sense hanging from the deep drops of the vacant flat. Here it was, my favorite nightgown, ripped and covered in peculiar spots which look like tiny red flowers. Had I not been so frightened, I would have started a bit more. All what I know seemed to be a piece, piece. a piece of equipment, equipment on the set, setting of scary movie. Back in the hall, so I looked back, wondering as much as I had the energy to think that at a specific moment, 
how something of mine could have ended up being a pair of potential clansmen. I immediately picked up the phone to call the police, only to find out that the phone was dead. I had already started taking control over my entire nervous system. When I heard the still voice once again. This time, an even scarier banging sound came along to totally make my knees bend. I started feeling absolutely helpless and hopeless, even though a more reasonable part of my brain sort of told me that whatever it was that was happening in the next flight had nothing to do with my own safety. I was far safe and sound and kept trying to convince myself that I would eventually overcome what appeared to be the most terrifying experience of my life. After some agonizing moments following the strong banging noise, I gathered all the courage left in me and walked towards the drawers next to the window to get my pajamas. I started putting them on, cautiously looking out of my great window to see if there was any kind of movement in the next flat. Things were still, yet my precious nightgown wasn't there anymore. I looked a bit closer and to my great horror, I saw a smile, a slim, a female figure racing, rising. rising from the lower part of my window pane. She was wearing my gown and had a really freaky face. I am with unkept hair and all. I started screaming. My heart was beating so fast that I thought I was going to pass out. The same time, the door will die. In my utter panic and horror, I hid under the bed and won't open the door to anyone. A familiar voice spoke. It was my friend, Peter. I suddenly remembered that we had arranged for him to come by for a couple of minutes last night because he needed my notes for a course that we have in common. As I was about to speak to him, he screamed and knocked himself over the door. Ah... Uh carpet in the house turned red where it touched the front door. I started screaming. I was trapped in my house and couldn't do anything to help my friends. In my desperation, I felt calling for help. Yet, my screams were covered by the banging that was so hard. I was afraid it would force open the door. One torturing minute went by this way. I sat on my bed waiting for the end. Yeah. Suddenly, the banging stopped and a key entered the keyhole. Then passed during which I, now falling in the abyss of desperation, wondered who could have had my flat keys. Go quick and then someone flat a panel. Happy Halloween! Screamed everyone outside, Peter included. Did you get scared? Fell of it, trying to get over the shock as all my friends were coming in, holding cakes, snacks, and refreshments. There was no way we could uh, have let you stay in alone on the night like this, even though you said you don't like Halloween. Needless to say, I had lots of fun Saturday night, but after a good night's sleep, I had decided not to speak to them for a couple of weeks. After all, they were responsible for my nightmares. <laughs> Amazing job, well done. You did fine. I mean, especially the young ones. Wow, well done. <laughs> there were some difficult words in there. They did it, really well. Yes. It so, was... so Calliope, you <laughs> had a chance to hear your story now, Red. What did you think? Well, I love the way everybody got into the role and you gave this all this excitement and agony and I could feel it as a, because I was listening to you reading it, I could feel the agony and I could feel the flow so well. So perfect. I want, I want you to tell me how you felt though while you were reading it. Uh, it was very scary initially because mm -hmm. it kind of brings your worst nightmares to life, you know, oh. <laughs> because you 
always somewhere in your mind you always dread that thing you know somebody going to wake up and you know have something spooky going outside the window where you would not would not know whether to open that or run away or keep hiding under the bed right so right. Uh, so, but it was a happy ending. So that kind of calmed me down. My heartbeat was going bah, 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 bah. <laughs> reading it. Okay. That's nice, man. Okay. Um, so have you, uh, like, if you were at Kate, I mean, how would you react? How do you think you would react? Would you go to open the door when it was banging? Someone was banging on it? I wouldn't open the door. Yeah. Actually, I, I would get so much scared and uh, actually I'm scared of uh, dark and ghosts. So that situation, I, I can move actually, I can move uh, to one room, to one uh, to another room to see who is there. I'll just get um, <laughs> down, I'll just get on my bed and um, keep, uh, and take my blanket and put my uh, all the money under there and go to sleep. Okay, go to sleep. Wow, you're brave. <laughs> you're Actually, brave. try to sleep, thus I can't hear those scary sounds. Okay, and what about like if your friends ever did this? Oh yes, Ryan, you want to say something? Yeah, if I ever did, uh, well, I wouldn't have directly opened the door. First, I would have held a frying pan. Then I would have looked through the keyhole. Then I would have opened the knob. And then whoever was there, I would have hit him hard with the frying pan. A brave one, huh? <laughs> My problem is when I get really, really scared, I freeze. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I remember, I remember a time when, when I was down at the farm alone and it was dark and <clears throat> it was cold and the dog started to bark and she was barking at the corner of the house and she wouldn't stop. And I'm in the kitchen and I'm saying, you know, trying to get her to stop barking. Stop. And then she wouldn't stop, just going on and on and on. So I reached for the phone and I called my neighbor and I said, I don't know what she's barking at and I'm not going to go and look because I can't go. <laughs> and, and, and when they got there, I was still standing there with <laughs> the phone in my hand. I hadn't moved. There was nothing there. That's what happens to me when I get really yeah. sick. I just freeze. By nature, uh, the men are not men are brave, so they are not scared of uh, Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the first question I got: Would you have opened the door? I would. First, I would have kept a hot pan and a rope that, and then I will open the door and I will hit him hard. Then I will tie him in the rope and call the police. And what? What, is, what if that was your friend, though? What if that was your friend? No idea was mine. <laughs> yeah, actually, I hear a lot of horror stories because I love them. So I heard of it that if we have any pet, it is believed in the Indian society. If we have any pet and they start barking or meowing in any corner of our house, which means that there is some paranormal activity going on. Okay. Oh, you're a smart boy. Yeah, I understand. Oh, wow. Okay. That's yeah. perfect. So, what if your friends? actually played a, a prank on you like this one how would you feel then would you still have them as friends <laughs> i'll find them back yeah so i'm gonna tell i'm gonna give you an advice if uh, this kind of situation happened to anyone mm -hmm. so what are you gonna do is go to the kitchen first and take something that is gonna help you to you know um def uh, as a defense force you can take uh, like hot water or a knife or anything to, um, you know, or chili, powder, or chili powder, then yep. throw it and oh. open the door and throw it on the, you know, the... I, yeah, I, I'm for the chili powder because I'm kind of afraid of all the other measures. <laughs> all right. We have decided that not only you should read here, you should also play with us Halloween is games. We have two questions for you, and uh, I'm going to give you first the first link so you can uh, answer as many questions. Okay. All right. So I'm going to write. The question is, how many words you can get out of the word Halloween? No more than one A. OK, you have to use. Like one A, two E's, yeah. yeah. Okay. So and the time starts now.
Okay, as I can see, some of you haven't followed my rules, but I don't know who hasn't. Here they are. <laughs> wow. In Halloween is colors. Nice. We oh, yeah. There are like so many words that come out of these words, right? Exactly. Apple, no. <laughs> see, <laughs> or orange, I saw orange. And legendary. Uh, legendary is there. Legendary. Uh, yeah, I that was funny. Confused. Yeah. Hello. Apple and oh. legendary. <laughs> yeah. That were, they were know? mine. <laughs> and hell. Hell. I used horror. Ho horror. horror, horror. Now, see for prepared. Choose, choose what you want to be transformed into. A mouse. A mouse. Then turn the I should have put something in. Maybe you could have just hit me, and I could have lost a hundred pounds. That would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll stop sharing. I have another game for you. Mm -hmm. Players and MRT people. How many things can you make out of a pumpkin? What can you do with a pumpkin? What can you do with a pumpkin? Ah, How can you use a pumpkin? Okay? Everybody all set? Yes. All right. Ready? Here we go. You can carve it, you can have pumpkin soup, you can have a pumpkin cake, you can have a mouse house. That's interesting. I like that. I <laughs> oh, how cool is that? Wow. You can throw it. Yes, you can. Yes, I do. You can sell it. You can sell it. You can sell it. Dance with it. I love it. Mouse it. Okay, so I'm asking everybody else then. Okay, would you like to play another game? The point is, yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do now, I want you, like, I want one of you to begin with to think of a single word. Okay, like it could be a name, it could be like the word dog or the house or whatever. Okay, I just want you to think of this word and then I will be exchanging feelings and you will be saying the same word feeling what excited or happy or whatever okay so but there's gonna be an alternation of feelings okay so just choose one word and you repeat the same word and we have to be able to see your faces doing like taking the the feelings the expressions okay so that's a good game to learn words and to also express our feelings okay yeah so georgia what is your word Sun. Sun. So I want you to use this word. I'm going to be alternating the, uh, the feelings and we're going to see that in your, on your face. Okay. And your voice. Okay. So sun it is. Sun. <laughs> That's great. Sun. Okay. Sun. Sun! Sun! <laughs> Sun! Sun! <laughs> Sun! <laughs> oh, Sun. Sun. That would that was it. Okay, thank you, Georgia. <laughs> Good job. Is it, what is your word? Yes. Excellent. I can use excellent. Okay, so your word is excellent. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. 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 Perfect. Excited. Excellent. Very very excited. Okay. Yes. 
Excellent. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much, Good job. Man. Well done. Well done. Nice. Let's try with mom. Okay. Do you agree with me? Okay. So here we go. I want to see both of you. Okay. So go on. Yes. Yes. Mom. mom. Yay. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Mom. 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 Okay. Mom. 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 Excited. Mom. It seems like you scolded me. Just now. <laughs> Go on. Angry. Really good. Angry. Mom. Okay. Mm. Oops. Mom. Oh, there you go. Mom. Yeah, you should be good at that one. <laughs> okay. So thank you, everybody. That was perfect. Okay. Yeah. I really enjoyed the day today. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Georgia, <laughs> for the great opportunity. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> so, okay. Thank That's you for good. the wonderful session. <laughs> Did you and a terrific know? story. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Calliope, you, so you did yeah. awesome. awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. If it hadn't been for everybody in the group, it wouldn't have worked. So thank you so, so much. I mean, everything was perfect. Thank you so much, OK? Thank you. Have a great Happy day. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Bye, everybody. Happy Halloween. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween, everyone. <laughs>